In this video, we're going to take a look at Wobizzle, and I am just going to go through some of the basic things that that create your site and how it functions, and just show you so that you're able to change some things in the future if you'd like. So, what you would do to log in is go to your URL slash wp-admin, which I think you already know this, and I think you already have a login, and that's where you put in your login username and password and I'm just gonna go down the side here <clears throat> and we don't use everything here but I'll kind of go down here and show you what these different things are so under updates this is where you can update your plugins and your version of WordPress excuse me and basically, so you can click them all and select update, and sometimes that'll help if there's a problem running on your site, it's good to update them, but we regularly update all of the plugins for all of our sites. So if you never wanna worry about this section, you don't have to. So that's just part of something that we offer to our clients. So if you never wanna think about it, you don't have to, but that's what it is. And then we'll move on to posts. Under posts, you've been posting things, and so I don't feel like I need to go over this super in depth, but basically you can click add new here, you can click add new over here, you can click add new from here, and what you want to do is put your title here, <clears throat> and then put your copy down here, and then you'll put it, you'll categorize it whichever way that you'd like, and then you'll set the featured image down here as you've done. And you can upload images here, drag them there, and then select them. And then this kind of works just like any word processing tool like Microsoft Word or something would work. So you can change the size of your text. You can bold, italicize, bullet list, hyperlink to another page on your site or a different site altogether. You can preview the post. If you haven't posted it yet, there's a preview button. And then if you always want to click on it and see what it looks like you can go there and there it is and if you categories are here and so if you end up at wanting to add new categories this is where they would go but then if you want to add those categories as menu items we'll show you how to do that here in just a minute but this is where you would add a new category name and you'd put it there and you could give it a parent category if you'd like. So let's move on to media. This is just where all your media is housed. So obviously you can get to this from different places in your site. It's not only accessible from here. And you can add new by same, same, same deal, select files or drag them there. And you can just see them here and edit them if you want to. Um, yeah, you can edit or crop the image here. Those things, but they're always available where you need them. And so let's move on to forms. You have one form I think you're using. Join the conversation. So, just name, email, and yes, sign me up. So if you ever wanted to add other options, the fields are over here, so you can choose anything from the standards or advanced fields. And if you just click it, it'll show up. And then you can change how it's worded, the field label here. You can change that. You can take off some parts of it. You can um, duplicate it. You can delete it. And then you can drag it somewhere else if you'd like. And then you would just always click update. And under settings, so we'll go to form settings. You've got your title and these different options that you can look through. Confirmations, this is if you want a confirmation like, thanks for contacting us, we'll get in touch with you shortly. Like that kind of thing pops up. You can edit that here. And then notification, this is how it goes to your email so if you ever wanted to add another one of these you could change this email or you could duplicate it and then change it so that's where that all takes place and then you can also view the entries from here so you can go to entries and you can view them from here 
And let's move on to pages. I don't think you're using this page. Yeah, not yet. I don't think. So then I want to look at your site from the front end just to be sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're using that page right now. So you're not actually using pages because all these are just categories of your blogs. So comments I don't think you're using right now for your blog. No, you're not. Okay, so we won't worry about that. Homepage areas. <clears throat> this is what creates some of the areas on your homepage, but for your site, we're, we've actually used widgets, a different part, a different part of WordPress, and I'll show you, show you that here in just a minute. But the part that is a, a homepage area is this section here. So I'll show you it. About Wolbizzle right here. And you can see it looks just like a blog post page. It looks very similar. So you've got your text there in the middle as heading one, which is like the biggest, the largest. And it's all centered. And then if you look under formats, it's also formatted as white text. So then if you scroll down, it's got a picture in the background with a co uh, color overlay. And then the transparency of that color is adjusted through here so that it looks nice and good. If you end up wanting to change out these words, now you know where that's at. If you want to change out the picture in the background or the color, or if you want to use this color somewhere else, you can get this color code from there. And if you make any changes, you'll just want to click update. And that's the only part that's used for homepage areas. I don't think you're using staff members. Nope. And Genesis is your theme, so we don't really need to look at anything there. Under appearance, we'll look at widgets and menus. So under widgets, that's what I said had these different parts of your site. And so uh, in the header, we've got your logo and it links to your website. So if you ever change out your logo, that's where that goes. You'll just want to make sure it looks and fits the same. Then we've got your menu there. Nothing to worry about there. In the sidebar, this is... This shows up on your internal pages. So this sidebar over here, you've got latest post and then that, that photo. And so if you ever want to change out the photo, that would be done through here. Choose an image and you can choose a different photo if you'd like. You'll always click save. And then this just makes it so that your latest posts from all categories show up. So probably not anything that you want to change there. And then on your home, there's a revolution slider. That's what, that's what creates this here. So you don't need to worry about that. And then featured posts. And then the, this pods list item just allows for that purple area, that homepage area. Then we've got all of this stuff at the bottom. So this, this is your featured posts here. And then we've got all this stuff at the bottom. And that's set up through here. So if you ever want to change that or something needs to change, you could probably mimic how that looks. And in the footer, we have that form. I think that's it. And then the social media menu, or the same menu as what's at the top. Yeah, same menu. Okay, so that's everything. Yeah, there. So let's take a look at menus real quick. So it's just set up as category. So if you end up adding a new category it'll show up right there you can click it click add to menu it'll show up and you can drag it where you want or you can make some things menu sub menu items like that and you'll just click save and you can always change what the navigation label says there so that's pretty simple Don't, not a lot going on there plugins is what's used to create your site and if you want to mess around and do more things you can add add more plugins if you have questions about that let us know users is where your username and password 
are located and where they can be changed. So, yeah, if you want to change your password, you can do that there. And you can add new users. Just want to be careful about who you give access to your site and make sure that all your passwords are really, really strong so that no one has access to your site that you wouldn't want. Tools and settings, I'm not going to go over. I don't think there's a whole lot of things that we need to talk about there. SEO, I'm not going to talk about either. And then Duplicator, we used to launch. Slider Revolution, I think, is the last thing that we'll talk about. And I think you're using, yeah, we're using this magazine posts slider. So it's a, it's already customized to use your latest posts. So if you end up wanting to change how this slider looks, you can let us know and we can, we can work with you on that or you can mess around with some of the different types of sliders that there are. But this is where that is. And everything, it's got the timing and everything all set up <clears throat> so you can mess with those different things if you want to and if you feel like you would like to do that, you're more than welcome to. But this is where that's located just so that you know. And this is where the timing of all those items is located. And you can adjust anything there and go down through each screen size make sure it works and looks good. So, obviously, this is just loading your most recent blogs, and so there's n you don't actually change the wording there. But if you see a different type of slider or you see a different type of website that has a slider that you would like and you'd like to change some of those things, you can let us know. We can maybe try to guide you there. And you'd always click save, and you can preview it as well. And I think that's it. That's all the things that you're using on your site. It looks like you kind of already know what you're doing and you've been using it. And so um, we're glad that you're happy with it and that things are going well. Let us know if you have questions or we can help with anything else.